Hey everybody, what's happening? Neil back once again with another quick streaming review for you. It's going to be a first impressions review of Willow on Disney+. And yes, spoilers, there will be spoilers here. I'm just going to be looking at episode 1 and 2. Uh, I'm not going to be talking about anything else. Uh, there are going to be 8 episodes in all. Uh, and it is a direct sequel to the original 1988 film, directed by Ron Howard, who's actually one of the executive producers here. And uh, this story was uh, based on a story by George Lucas, which uh, looks like it was inspired by Exc Excalibur and, and things like Lord of the Rings and whatnot. So, um, yeah, it's not the most original story of all time, Willow, but it is a fairly charming story. Uh, some dated visual effects in that film for sure, but uh, otherwise I still think it holds up. It's still a pretty good movie overall. So, how does the series fare? Well, so far, eh, so far, it's okay. Episode 1 starts with basically uh, picking up several years after the defeat of Queen Bavmorda, the evil sorceress, and Sorsha, her daughter, is now the queen. And she's had two children with Mad Mardigan, aka Val Kilmer, who does not appear here, sadly, in any way. Uh, Kit is the princess, and Arik is the prince. So, these are the kids. And uh, who knows, they might wind up being great fighters, just like their parents. There's this other character called Graydon, who is uh, betrothed to Kit. However, she's more interested in her warrior friend, her BFF, Jade, who's, well, I mean, they're more than BFFs, if you know what I mean. Uh, so, yeah, so she's not too crazy about marrying this guy, Graydon, who's kind of a coward anyway. Um, there's also this uh, servant girl they call Dove, and uh, she's in love with Arik, the prince, as well. Now, uh, there's also one more character, too, worth mentioning here early on, which is Borman. And he's this thief who is imprisoned, but he winds up helping Queen Sorsha, basically orders him to help them out, um, helping with the attack that winds up happening here. So the Gales refers to these monsters, these mutants, these uh, powerful beings, really, that look like magical beings that um, basically come out of nowhere and attack. Um, this uh, this castle, you know, that they live in, and um, they wind up capturing the prince. Prince Arik is kidnapped, and uh, much to the dismay of uh, of Dove, of course. Uh, and uh, what happens is that Sorsha orders a group of them to go and rescue her son, and uh, Dove winds up joining them. Uh, you know, not that they were aware of it at first, but. Um, she joins them, and then they take off, and then there's danger right away, as one of the knights is killed immediately uh, with an arrow, and uh, there's these, like, evil raiders that are after them. And, and the scene, the way they get away is actually this reference to a movie called Young Guns 2, as their horses jump off a cliff into water, and then they ask the, the first guy, the first horse that, you know, the, the guy riding the first horse that jumped off the cliff, you know, what were you saying? You were yelling something before you, <laughs> he said, oh, it's an ancient word. It says it means uh, stop, <laughs> right? So <laughs> it's still, that's an old joke. It's, uh, it probably didn't start with Young Guns too. But anyway, I, I thought it was worth pointing out that reference here. I thought that was pretty funny. Um, but anyway, uh, so they do escape these evil raiders and um, they wind up, Finding Willow, uh, which is another, you know, main part of the mission here is to find a sorcerer uh, who can, you know, help, uh, you know, prevent this evil. And um, so that's another part of the mission I should have mentioned. But so they do wind up finding this sorcerer. It's Willow, of course, himself, played by Warwick Davis once again. Very nice to see him in the role once again here. And, uh, well, he welcomes the troop and recognizes Alora who is actually Dove, and even Dove didn't know that. So, yeah, they wind up revealing by the end of episode one that Dove is actually Alora, the one that is, you know, prophesized to quell the evil. Uh, she's going to become a great sorceress one day and all that stuff. So, there you go. There's Alora. They reveal it right away in episode one. In episode two, we get a flashback, and it's uh, actually revealed what happened to Mad Mardigan. It's uh, said that he has vanished going out in search of this special armor, something called the Chimerian uh, Kyrus. And this is like the, you know, the one ring. This is like the coveted uh, MacGuffin of the, of the show, I guess. Uh, they also mention that there's this character called the Crone, who's this evil new enemy. And I'm assuming the Crone is in charge 
of the Gales, you know, the, these monstrous mutants that uh, kidnapped the prince. But we'll have to wait to find out, really, for sure, but um, that seems to be the case. Uh, only Alora can stop this evil crone, according to Willow. So, yeah, in the past, Willow and uh, Sorsha are having this conversation. Willow's rocking a goatee, and uh, Willow offers to train her, you know, so that she can become a powerful sorceress. But Sorsha says that Willow can't do it because he's not a great sorcerer. Ouch. Yeah. Ooh, right in the feels there. Ouch. Um, <laughs> back in the present, they continue their travels, the the group, of course, this uh, fellowship. Uh, they, they actually make a joke about that uh, in episode one. But uh, they travel on with Willow and uh, his best buddy there as well. Um, and Willow's trying to teach Alora magic. Uh, meanwhile, the commander of the guards. Uh, in episode one, he was actually infected uh, after this attack, and the effect turns him evil uh, by the end of this episode. Uh, he has a very cool-looking helmet, but uh, I have a feeling he's not going to last too long, uh, unless he becomes the new, you know, head chief bad guy uh, in, in terms of, um, you know, the, the general of the army sort of thing, the evil army. Well, we'll see. Um, but, um, but yeah, that, that, what winds up happening here is that Alora keeps trying to make the magic happen, and she thinks it's not happening. She gets all frustrated, uh, but she does actually wind up growing this plant as a, as a test. But the commander, uh, his name is Commander Ballantyne, uh, this evil twisted guy, he actually finds her, um, which is, you know, what he's supposed to do. It's actually a source that sent him out to find her, and uh, that's what he did. But what is he going to do with her now that he's evil, huh? Hmm, I don't know. So it's a decent start, but nothing terribly exciting, really. I mean, it is appropriate for all ages, so I guess he didn't want to make it too scary, too bloody, and that makes sense. You know, there's no foul language as far as I can tell. Uh, so it seems very much uh, aimed uh, for family viewing, so eh, it's going to be kind of safe in that respect, but so was the original film, right? Absolutely. Um, so, you know, it, 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 speaking of which, it does seem a little derivative of that original Ron Howard film, um, although there are some obvious improvements, and we're going to see some, uh, certainly some better blue screen effects, I'm sure, from the original movies with the with the brownies and everything. Ooh, it was terrible in the movie, but in the show, I'm sure that won't be a problem, so looking forward to that. Um, you know, Kit and Eric, they both have North American accents, which I thought was interesting, although, I mean, their mother is English, right? She has an English accent, but I guess they take after their father, uh, Val Kilmer, right? Mad Mardigan, who is a uh, very uh, North American. And uh, that doesn't really matter too much anyway. I mean, it is fantasy. You know, people can have all sorts of accents in these kind of movies. Um, so that's not really a complaint, really. Um, it is good to see Warwick Davis here, you know, re reprise his role once again. Uh, you know, he's pretty good in his role as usual. Uh, I'm not so sold on the newer characters, though. You know, I mean... Yeah, the Mad Mardigan is sorely missed, certainly. Uh, but Val can't speak, right? So, uh, I mean, it seems unlikely that we're going to see him. But you never know. He could be some surprise down the road or something. Um, even just visually, you know? I mean, they could use him. They could do the reface thing. I don't know. I mean, who knows, right? I mean, there's a, there's a few possibilities there. Um, there is some comic relief, but it's not very funny. It's kind of subtle and a little bit lame at times, honestly. It's just, eh, you know, it's just, it's not terribly exciting, uh, this show so far. It's only episode one and two. I know. It's too early to tell if the show will pay off. You know, uh, we have yet to see the crone, for God's sake. We have yet to see the, the big bad, you know, of this show, I think. So, yeah, I mean, but if these gales and mutants freaks are any indication, you know, the makeup and CGI, I guess, as well, um, pretty good. Pretty, pretty cool. The cinematography is wonderful. Uh, so the visual effects are very good. The acting is, you know, it's okay. You know, I just, like I said, I just don't really care for these new characters. They're just not that interesting. It's nothing special, but I'll keep watching. So I'm going to give Willow 6.5 out of 10 for episode 1 and 2. Just the first two episodes. And uh, maybe I'll review the rest. Maybe not. I don't know. It depends on if anyone cares for this one. <laughs> if anyone cares for my reviews, let me know in the comments below. What did you think? of Willow. It took a long time for them to make Willow. I guess maybe there wasn't as much interest a long time ago, but nowadays with technology catching up, you know, and they can make just about anything happen on screen these days. So, hey, why not give it a shot? And uh, so far, it's it's just okay. It's worth, a, it's worth a look. All right, guys. This is Neil. Thanks so much for checking out this quick streaming review. And until next time, peace.